Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and today uh, first off the bat I just wired up some trailer lights here because we're gonna go pick up a new project and they wouldn't let me bring the U-Haul dolly off the lot without trailer lights which is reasonable so I swung over here just to basically across the parking lot to AutoZone and wired up some trailer lights. They work. They have these little LED indicators. Anyway, so I got those trailer lights hooked up. We're gonna go pick up the new project this morning and uh, take this rescue ranger up there with the car dolly to get that. So here we go, those trailer lights are hooked up again. It's reasonable, obviously it's their business and they don't want their trailers driving around without lights. I didn't realize this didn't have any on it. I was assuming it did, but uh, anyways, we'll go pick up that trailer and hit the road. All right, well, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. But when I got off the interstate, my truck wouldn't go into gear. Um, well, it wouldn't come out. I mean, it came out of fifth. The clutch feels super spongy. Like there's no, there's nothing to it. So I think my transmission's like hot too, super hot. So I'm not sure. It feels like it's probably a one of the cylinders in the clutch. Cause like the first pump right there was just dead soft. And then after that it was, it's pretty tight now. So I'm gonna try and bleed it and see. I don't know why that transmission's so hot. So I may swing back to town here cause I'm, I'm near a town and see if I can get some uh, gear oil for the transmission. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna bleed it first and see, hopefully it's not a clutch issue, but nothing leads me to believe it was a clutch issue. It was driving just fine on the interstate. So we'll see you here in a minute if I can get this figured out. Well, I'm getting some air and some water out of that clutch line down there on that slave cylinder. So hopefully that's it. I'm gonna bleed it a few more times here. Make sure I'm topped off. Still got some fluid in that little reservoir. Um, but yeah, I'm getting some air out of there and it's getting tighter now. So hopefully that's the issue. And there's so much fluid on the bottom of that transmission. Just all over everything down there that I'm still gonna run back to town and get some fluid for it since it's so hot and make sure, uh, you know, that it's got enough oil in there how it's supposed to. All right, well, I'm just floating gears cause it's, it's grabbing if I do it quick enough. It's kind of got a little shake to it though. So anyways, I'm stuck with these guardrails. I can't really turn around the auto zones behind me, but uh, I tried backing up, but I was just hitting some sticks and stuff and I couldn't see this trailer because it's so short So I figured I'd just go this way But I got to get turned around somewhere. It feels like the clutch is fine. Like I said, there's a little bit of a wobble and something So I don't know hopefully the clutch isn't going out, but when I grab the gear, it's fine It's just having trouble grabbing them. So I think it's just the cylinder uh, Maybe I'll just keep going up here. This is the way towards picking up the new project so yeah, I'll head up here and see if I can find an auto zone in the next town or something. I'm just gonna leave it in fourth gear though and just take her slow up through this mountain. Yeah, so I've just been thinking about it. I'm on the way there, I'm probably like 10 minutes away. And I'm wondering if that transmission got so hot that it boiled that brake fluid. Well, I got air, air out of there anyways now I'm thinking about it and I did see those water, you know, it turns white when water gets in there. Um, so I'm gonna bleed it again. Like I said, I was floating the gears up that hill because uh, still didn't really want to come out very well or go in. Um, so when I get down here, I'll get the other truck loaded up and I'll probably bleed this clutch, but I'm still going to stop at that auto zone on my way out. It's a bummer because I was less than a half a mile away from it, but there's just been these guardrails the whole way. I couldn't turn around. So I'll, uh, I'll stop by there on my way out. It's like 10 minutes back. So I'll just take it easy over to the auto zone and make sure we've got enough fluid. Um, and hopefully it uh, keeps it cool. I mean, it's a manual, so there is no transmission cooler. So yeah, we'll see. Hopefully uh, it doesn't give me any issues. At the lake, I guess people are ice fishing out there. All right, well, it's taken one quart so far. The service interval is like 2.3 quarts, so probably pretty low. Yeah, so here's the auto zone. And when my clutch stopped working, I was up there. And I just got two quarts in there and I just filled up with gas. So we're gonna hop back on the interstate. Keep her probably about 60 miles an hour the whole way home, 55 probably, just to go easy on this transmission. But again, it took two quarts and uh, probably could have taken a bit more, but since the service interval is 2.3, it's fine for now. 
And the wobble seems to definitely be an unbalanced wheel. It's pretty specific to about 50 miles an hour with a little window around there. So uh, I'm pretty sure either a tire on the trailer, but most likely a tire on the truck is unbalanced because you can just see things kind of wobbling around around that speed range. And this isn't, yeah, around 50, it's quite a bit more noticeable. All right, here we are. We made it back with this truck. Here's the project reveal. It's a 94 Nissan D21. This is the very first vehicle I ever bought. Not this one specifically, because the first one I ever bought, I rebuilt the engine a couple of times. It had 460,000 miles on it. And uh, then I eventually sold the engine after I rebuilt it the last time, I think the fourth or fifth time. And then I turned it into a truck bed trailer. Um, just, yeah, maybe I would have kept it thinking back on it, but I was just trying to get it out of there. Um, pretty typical Utah surface rust. And uh, yeah, here's the truck, so I'm excited. It's uh, got a lot bigger tires than I used to have on my other truck, full size spare. This one's four wheel drive, my other one wasn't, but it's got the same engine, a 2.4 liter. It's a K24E engine, if you know what that is. Pretty trusty, like I said, I had my, the original one had 420 or 440,000 miles when it went out. And then I rebuilt another one, and then I had another one from a junkyard, I rebuilt that. And then I spun a rod bearing uh, goofing around with it, so I rebuilt another one. And uh, yeah, we got a clutch out in it, so I got it for a pretty good deal. And I'm gonna replace the clutch and uh, it runs. So 143,000 miles, which is way better than the old one I had that was uh, again, 460,000 miles when I got rid of it. So that's it, here's a new project. And uh, I've got some very interesting ideas for this. So uh, stay tuned, subscribe if you wanna keep up with the project cause it's gonna be fun. Well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.